I envy the sand that met his feet. I'm jealous of honey he tasted sweet. Of birds that hovered above his head, of spiders who spun their sacred web. To save him from his enemies, I envy clouds formed from the seas that gave him cover from the heat of a sun whose light could not compete with his, whose face did shine so bright that all was clear in blinding night. I envy sightless trees that gazed upon his form completely dazed, not knowing if the sun had risen, but felt themselves in unison with those who prayed and fasted too, simply because he told them to. With truth and kindness, charity from God who gave such clarity, his mercy comes in one he sent to mold our hearts more heaven-bent. I envy all there at his side who watched the turning of the tide as truth prevailed and falsehood fled and hope restored life to, to the dead. Women and men through him found grace to seek together God's noble face. I envy the cup that gave him drink, his thoughts that helped us all to think, to be one thought that passed his mind inspiring him to act so kind. For me, this world is not one jot if I could simply be a thought from him to God throughout the ages as revelation came in stages. I pity all who think it odd to hear him say there is one God or he was sent by God to men to hone their spirit's acumen. It's pride that blinds us from the sight that helps good men to see his light. He taught us all to be God's slaves, and he will be the one who saves humanity from sinful pride. Muhammad has God on his side. So on this day be blessed and sing, for he was born to grace our spring with lilies, flowers, life's rebirth, in a dome of green like his on earth. Jazakumullah khairan.